What's happening, everybody? Kyle from VR Scout here. So over the past few weeks, we've been lucky enough to go hands-on with the Catwalk C2, an omnidirectional treadmill designed for use with VR headsets. Now, for those out of the loop, an omnidirectional treadmill is a device that basically allows you to travel infinite distances in a 360 degree space while remaining fixated in the same position in the real world. The Catwalk C2 is an easy to set up, consumer friendly omnidirectional treadmill compatible with major VR headsets like the HTC Vive, Valve Index, and MetaQuest 2 via AirLink. According to the manufacturer, the Catwalk C2 is compatible with any VR game or app with support for free roam locomotion. So any VR software that allows you to traverse the virtual world smoothly without the use of blinking or teleportation is compatible with this device. Over the past few weeks, we've tested the Catwalk C with a variety of VR games and apps, and so far that claim holds true. We have thoroughly enjoyed our time with this incredibly well-made VR treadmill. So today, we thought it'd be nice to break down the device in detail to help those on the fence decide whether or not they need a VR treadmill in their life. Let's start with the setup. The Catwalk C2 is a consumer-friendly treadmill, and so is the setup. Overall, it only took me a couple of hours to get the device up and running, and that was with me really taking my time. Each purchase comes with all of the tools and all of the parts you need to get the Catwalk C2 up and running. And while you can set up the device on your own, I highly, highly recommend getting a friend or family member to assist. The device isn't exactly light, so you'll want to decide ahead of time exactly where you want to place it in your real-world space. The device itself is composed of several primary components. There is the base platform upon which you stand, and attached to that are two brackets leading to a harness system, which is what you strap yourself into to stay centered on the platform. Now, this is where things get interesting. The Catwalk C2 features a special back brace that allows you to adjust the device to your height. The device allows you to crouch comfortably while in VR, so this is an important part of the process. Be sure the device is calibrated properly to your height before playing. Once you've installed the sensor into the back plate, you can then insert the additional sensors into each Cat VR shoe. Each Cat VR shoe comes with a sensor that tracks the position of your foot in real time. So you slip on the Cat VR shoes, step onto the platform, attach yourself comfortably using the four system harness, and boom, you're ready to rock. Each Cat VR shoe features several Velcro straps that can be removed to reduce the friction between the shoes and the platform. Personally, I recommend starting with all of the straps attached. That way you can get more comfortable with the device. From there, you can begin to remove each Velcro strap depending on how much friction you want on the device. By the end of testing, I had each and every strap removed, but that's just me. As previously mentioned, the Catwalk C2 features support for any VR game or app that supports free locomotion. That said, some games and apps definitely work better than others. For instance, I thoroughly enjoyed my time using the Catwalk C while exploring VR chat. We also tried Requisition VR, Fallout 4 VR, Half-Life Alex, and a bunch of other killer VR games and apps with support for free locomotion. And again, nine times out of 10, we thoroughly enjoyed using the Catwalk C. You can comfortably walk, run, even sprint in 360 degrees. The device also allows you to crouch comfortably, which is a huge bonus. All in all, the Catwalk C2 doesn't take up that much space for a VR treadmill. I was able to slip the treadmill pretty comfortably into my existing living room setup. Now, let's talk about price. Now, obviously, your average VR treadmill ain't cheap. This is a complicated device, after all. That said, the Catwalk C2 is definitely one of the more affordable VR treadmills we've seen so far. The device can usually be purchased for $1,300 US dollars, but is currently $200 off until December 31st, 2022. So if you were thinking about picking up a treadmill, now is the time. This same discount also applies to the Catwalk C2 Plus, an upgraded version of the Catwalk C2 that features additional improvements such as a dedicated vehicle hub, as well as fancy LED lights. Long story short, we thoroughly enjoyed our time with the Catwalk C. Is it 100% necessary to enjoy your favorite VR games and apps? No, not necessarily. 
That said, if you're a dedicated VR user looking for an additional way to upgrade your current setup or just increase the immersion in general, you can't do wrong with the Catwalk C2, especially if you're already interested in picking up a VR treadmill. This is definitely one of the more approachable, affordable options currently available on the market. The company also sells a device called Cat Nexus, which is an adaptation solution that allows you to use the treadmill with standalone games and apps available on headsets like the MetaQuest 2, MetaQuest Pro, Pico 4, or PlayStation VR. But that is it for this week. For more on everything VR and AR, be sure you're checking out VRScout.com, as well as the many other videos available on our channel, such as this one right there. That's a great video. It's a really good one. Oh, but this is also a really good video. Whoa, got some great options today. That's, that's wild.